Welcome to ESPN's Afternoon College Football on ABC in this presentation of the Pac-12 on ESPN. These Huskies went to Eugene and pulled off a dramatic comeback victory behind Michael Penix Jr. Ducks have not forgotten that, not for a single day, they say, since that home loss a year ago. Bernard drifting to the end zone. He'll let it sail over his head. So here comes Michael Penix Jr., leader of this offense. It's averaging 46 points. And they pitch it to Johnson. Tries the left side. Has some blocks and explodes for a big first down gain of about 14. Steve Stevens forced him out. They're spread all over the field in that last play. Now, here's a free play for Penix, and he'll just launch downfield. 50-50 ball. Odunze's got it. Wrestle down to the 26, making the use of that free play. He beat Jaleel Florence. This is a tough battle to the field. Odunze is as good as there is. The, the chemistry that he has, he gets away with a pull on the shoulder pad right there. Never located the football. Junior. Jalen Polk in motion. Penix pump fake, and now launches a dart down to the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Giles Jackson joins the party. And this is the Washington offense these fans came to see. 26 yard TD strike. Right over top of the safeties, one on one with outside leverage. Look at the outside leverage by the corner. Just never has a chance without safety support. To He goes in motion. Knicks took a look and now fires to him, but he's leveled immediately. We see Kelly tight end in motion. They hand it off inside to Bucky Irving, who scores. And the Ducks right down the field. A 78-yard march aided by penalties and a 12-yard touchdown. Run. Going for two. Trickery is Patrick Herbert. Justin's little brother, the tight end, took the direct snap and just waltzed around the right side. Out of it. That Kelly brought this a chance to maybe steal a point and take the lead. That was easy. But show pressure. Penix gets the ball to the edge quickly. And that's Jalen Polk. Gets a block from his buddies and sprints down the sidelines. This is a great there to got him to the edge. Get the ball out quickly. It's got numbers. There's the block right there. What a good job of being able to kind of push Jackson. Zipped right around him. Final minute of this first quarter. Pressure picked up again. Launching for the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Jalen Polk. You are seeing why. Giles Jackson, that one to Jalen Polk, his fourth touch of the season. Yeah, when they're stacked, a lot of times you think about Jackson zero, but instead it's the front man. It's Polk who gets the one-on-one -on -one matchup. And we thought... Serious challenge on third and 13. Here comes the pressure. Nick spins three. He's got space to run, and he's going to take off and dive for the marker out near the 50. Backyard football, Brett Favre, almost mentality of he knows exactly where he needs to go to try to give the effort to get the first down. The right hand. Second and nine, Irving throw a hole. Makes a cut, kind of stumbled as he was getting to the open field, but dragged down for a first down at the 11. Johnson, Marcus Harper, the center, 58. Good job, look at that left guard, able to help with that double team and then get up to the backer. Well, between the tackles. Nicks from the pocket. On the move, scanning, throws back end zone, caught, touchdown, Patrick Herbert. So he's run for a two-point try, now caught a touchdown. His first this season. It's to keep the play alive. Here's your receiver, the tight end, Herbert. Watch Herbert end his route. This is great recognition. You see it from Kelsey all the time. He looks around, realizes, okay, I'm going to work back, find that soft spot, and what a catch. All hand. Strong first halves. And the play fake, end around. Jeremy Bernard looking to throw and delivers a high throw that's caught on the sidelines there by Pope. I mean, is it the air here in Seattle? I mean, <laughs> not only Penix is throwing dimes, look at this. It's a tough throw on the run by a receiver. Good patience. 
Johnson has it, tries to get to the edge, and he will score diving to the purple painter. Or executed it just like this. Yeah, Brandon Dorless looked like he may have had a chance there. Just too much speed there by Dylan Johnson. Good job. It's a seven, a three tight end look. And they'll shift around. Here comes a little uh -oh. trickery. Here we go. Oh, look, look at the gesticulating by the Ducks defense here. <laughs> Dunze in motion. They pitch it into Jack Westover. And they bulldoze in. Irving, he's fresh, he's back in the game. They fake it to him. He picks up the blitz for a time, but then Lulofoscio got him. Eddie Lulofoscio from the linebacker position. Lulofoscio is right here. You've talked about it, Chris. The pressure that they're trying to bring. Bo Nix has been running the football quite a bit. Not a great effort from Bucky Irving, who's... Gets it up and drives it through. Minix steps up, and as he escapes, he's going to throw the ball. Was he down before he let it go? He's the play caller for the Huskies. Let's see, but he's got dialed up here. Ducks rush four. Penix sideline run, intercepted. Odunze cut in, and he threw it right to Julio Florence. So a turnover sets up Oregon with 55 seconds to play. This is his balance at the top of the route, falls down. See how he falls down, but I think he was working inside anyway. So the first time we've seen a miscommunication here, Odunze loses his balance, balls thrown to the outside. Heck of a job of recognizing ball in the air. Good job in the effort by Franklin to get those extra yards allows you to run the football. It's Nix looking to run, pumps over the middle, catch made. Tess Johnson dragged down first and goal. Didn't take him long at all. You read the backup star kind of sliding to a different position here as Penix lost for the end zone. Jump ball caught. Touchdown, Odunze. And the Huskies stretch the lead. They were going to take a shot. And they went to the field against eight. Manning. He's trying to use his hands. He's trying to get in position and actually wasn't in bad position. The inside receiver that worked outside and opened up very, very nicely. Easy throw for Nix. Four man rush, lots of time. Launching downfield. Wide open is Franklin. Well, he waited a while to make a huge impact play, but that was it. 30 yards as the Ducks cut into this lead. Here, you've got a jam to slow him down to give your safety time to help you over top. Watch how this unfolds here. He just does not get his hands on Franklin at all. He whips, and by missing, Nix is able to get the ball behind that safety. So it's easy again to look at the safety and say, why didn't Hampton get over? But the miss right there by the corner is what allows that play to unfold for Oregon. Good recognition, great accuracy. Nix rolling to the right, throws, and it's good. Trez Johnson on a crossing route. Very tough to defend, and the Ducks are back within a field goal. Bucky, it's his feet in the hole. They wanted to work. We'll see if it pays off in the fourth. There's Nix on the move and launching downfield. Franklin's got it, and he's dragged down inside the 15. Safeties are starting to creep down. There's no play action, but they're occupied by the tight ends. Creates one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Bo Nix is his call. Irving out. James is the bat. He's got it. Stutter step. Backing up. Barreling all the way to the end zone. Jordan James would not be denied, and the Ducks claim the lead. Nine lead, 10-yard run. Ducks, ground game, physical and effective today. Now it's Penick's turn. This Ducks team might be wearing the eggshell uniforms, but there's nothing fragile about them. Bernard. Escapes, gets a block. Jeremy Bernard knocked down near the 40. So good field position for Penix. That's the first real long return of the day. Irving joined by Johnson in the backfield. And the ball lofted down the field. Jump ball catch made by Franklin. They go to their best receiver, and he comes up huge at midfield. Penix backpedals. Goes right downfield and in traffic. It's Punk with a leaping catch at the 16. 
Watch this safety right here. Just a little bit late in reacting. Evan Williams. Just enough for him to sneak that in as Williams got over late. He wasn't open. He just trusted his playmaker, huh? I, I think he sensed that Williams got a late break to get to that part of the field. So by the time he got there, he game clock now starts. Launching for the end zone. Forget being patient. Odunze. And Washington takes the lead. My goodness. What a one-two punch from Penix. Ash here. He's there to protect against a threat into the corner. Here, Evan Williams. All the action goes right. He takes a couple steps to his left. And that's just a quarterback trusting one of the best. Gonna have to get two yards on these two plays, and they do move the sticks. Irving bursts up to the 45, getting closer to field goal range. Clock will stop momentarily. Missed it! And the Huskies survive! Lewis is consoled, and the field is stormed, and Washington has won it. Give something.